Hi, my name is Paul Kalliker. I'm an emergency physician at the Telegrad Medical Center. We're going to talk for a few minutes about vertigo. There are two main kinds of vertigo, central and peripheral vertigo. Central vertigo is a symptom that uh, patients experience when they have a problem with their central nervous system or their brain. And peripheral vertigo it has to do with involvement of the balance portion of the ear or the inner ear. Vertigo is the illusion of movement where there is none, whether it's a mood, the movement of the person in, in their environment or a movement of the environment around the person. It's frequently perceived as spinning, and sometimes the spinning can be violent or dramatic enough to cause motion sickness with nausea and vomiting, and in some instances can be quite debilitating. Central vertigo is usually caused by things like a stroke or brain tumors or dysfunction of the central nervous system and can be an important symptom of something more serious going on and needs to be evaluated, uh, especially in those patients that are at risk for stroke. Peripheral vertigo is generally more benign. It can happen with dis disorders of the middle ear, some of which are readily treatable. There's a subtype of peripheral vertigo called benign paroxysmal positional vertigo and it can be treated with uh, very basic repositioning maneuvers that aim to reposition in, uh, a piece of calcium that's in the wrong place in the middle ear. And this can be done in the office or in the emergency room in a few minutes and sometimes it's curative. Uh, vertigo is a very common complaint and it can ca be caused by a variety of different diseases and disorders and it's uh, important for it not to be overlooked especially in patients with uh, risk factors for stroke. If you're suffering from symptoms of vertigo and need more information, you can contact one of the healthcare providers at the Telluride Medical Center.